Buddy, this is Beetle Five. Welcome to another one of my reaction videos. I have with me the Ginger here. Hello, everyone. And today we will be reacting to Hulk versus Doomsday Death Battle. Now, I gotta say, I, I'm not, I'm not on the DC side. I don't know much about Doomsday, but from yeah, what I, too. from what I gathered and like little bit of information, because I have other friends who watch Death Battle and stuff, Doomsday is apparently a monster who has been killed like in an, exper oh, yeah. an experiment like a hundred times over and he's learned how to not die from the previous time he was killed so need to say he's very adaptable so yeah that, that could be a good edge for him well, on the other hand hulk is literally raw strength and nothing more and not much can take him down yeah so at the moment unless i see some unique ability that doomsday has that could give him an edge over hulk i have to go with hulk right now yeah me too i'm going with hulk all right so, regardless, this video will start in three, two, one, go. Before we get into the episode, I have something very important to tell you. Oh, do Our tell. new game, Super Red Ray Gun, just launched on Steam for PC, Mac, and Oh, it looks like a Mega Man clone. <laughs> unique levels, three modes of play, and tongue-in-cheek story of 1980s politics. It's a whole 1980s politics? Wow. <laughs> the CCP? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Soundtrack featuring music from Phantom NK and Bubble Pipe Media for free. Click the link in the description after the video. That looks kind of funny. Your copy today. All right. Pure unadulterated <laughs> rage. Rage. <laughs> Usually, in situation, you want to avoid this sort of emotion in order to keep yourself focused. <laughs> Unless you're a giant rampaging pile of muscles like these two. Dr. Bruce Banner, the Incredible Hulk. And Doomsday, the monster who killed Superman. He's whiz and I'm boosting. What? And it's our the job hell? to analyze their weapons, armor, kind and of hair to that the Hulk just have. A death battle. <laughs> that was kind of weird. Within each of us, off times, there dwells a mighty and raging fury. And this suits no one better than the mild-mannered scientist, Bruce Banner. Cause when Bruce gets angry, oh boy, you wouldn't like him when he's angry. Uh. Dr. Robert Bruce Banner may have grown up with few friends, but what he lacked in popularity, he made up tenfold with his intellect. However, in spite of his gifts, it was never enough to earn the respect and love of his father. Oh, Partly yeah. because Bruce was so smart that his alcoholic dad literally thought he was a monster and expressed that to Bruce pretty thoroughly. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, damn. damn. How much distance do you think you got there? How much distance do you think he got? <laughs> Ten feet? Man, with an arm like that, he could really go places. <laughs> like the nut house after he murdered his wife right in front of Bruce. Aww. Understandably Man, traumatized, Hulk movie in a long Bruce time. coped by creating an imaginary friend to talk to. You know, I had an imaginary friend once. You did? What was his name? <laughs> Dad. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, Bruce's friend served as an emotional outlet all the way through his college graduation. However, wow. his advice to Bruce was oftentimes destructive. Oh. So when the U.S. military recruited Bruce to make weapons, it was actually kind of fitting. Bruce was uh. tasked with developing a gamma bomb, which would use gamma radiation Not a dick. to target enemy weapons. <laughs> he saw that yeah. the, the top of the corner. At least corner. that's what Bruce was told. Surprise, surprise! Gamma radiation is actually pretty fucking harmful! And when it came time to test the bomb and some dumb kid decided to play his harmonica right in the <laughs> test zone, <laughs> Bruce asked his assistant to stop the countdown and dashed off to save him. But turns out his assistant was a Russian spy who set up the bomb anyway. Oh, oh, On wow. that strange, wow. strange day, Bruce's imaginary friend became a real-life terror as he transformed into the Incredible Hulk. I didn't know that it was it was a matter of like split personalities. <laughs> really? Yes, apparently. Uh, Ever since, whenever he's angry, Bruce's body and mind morphs into that of the Hulk's, granting him unmeasurable power. While he loses Bruce's brain power, the Hulk is ridiculously strong. 
He can leap great distances, survive the harshest environments, and most importantly, smash the crap out of a rapid healing factor. Fists. He also knows a technique known as the thunderclap, which creates a shockwave that can deafen foes, level forests, and push back explosions. As <laughs> if he needed anything more than that, the Hulk has a healing factor that gives Wolverines a run for his money. Really? Oh, wow. He's Whoa. super strong and super hard to kill. I did not know What's that. not to like? Well, there's one little detail that kind of ruins the oh, whole Oh, I was so cool at the very end Bruce of the movie. Bruce can't really control the Hulk. In fact, the Hulk is his own being, and they both hate each other, vying for dominance over Bruce's body. And yet, Bruce and the Hulk are often reminded how much they depend on each other for survival. Bruce figured if he was stuck with his big green Goliath forever, he might as well try using it for good, uh. eventually joining the Avengers, Defenders, the Fantastic Four, and even the Illuminati. Hulk has what? held up a 150 <laughs> billion ton mountain, okay. escaped Earth's gravitational pull with a single jump, and one time when a planet's tectonic plates started splitting apart, Threatening to shatter the whole world, he just jumped right in there and pulled the planet back together. Uh, uh, the estimated uh, average wow. mass of a single lithospheric plate is nearly 45 quintillion oh tons. My God. And the Hulk pulled two of these together with nothing but his bare hands. Jesus. And he's not just strong and tough. He's more than twice as fast as a fighter jet, which puts him over Mach 5 speeds at least. Regenerated and half he can his body go in eight if minutes. he's pissed off. Enough. Wow. This is because the Savage Hulk's strength is directly related to his anger. The angrier wow. he gets, the more powerful he becomes. In theory, this means his maximum level of strength is potentially infinite. And when he taps into that immeasurable rage to the fullest, he truly lives up to his name of Worldbreaker. Bigger, stronger, and oozing with gamma radiation, the World Breaker Hulk is so powerful, with a single stump he created earthquakes felt hundreds of miles away. <laughs> In his battle with Sentry, basically Marvel Superman, they almost destroyed oh. New York. And when battling another World Breaker Hulk, a single collision between them obliterated an entire planet. Even the mutant Darwin's power, which specifically adapts to counter any enemy, decided that the best defense against the Hulk was to be somewhere else. <laughs> wow. That, uh, that Not is... Not many, obviously. <laughs> I fucking love that scene. And limit the Hulk's power. In fact, World Breaker Hulk is a result of Bruce relinquishing that control entirely. In terms of combat, usually only cosmic beings like Silver Surfer or Zeus have the might to challenge the Hulk. Oh yeah, like that one time Zeus hit him so hard, it burned out his healing factor. But oh. even gods sometimes have to learn the hard yeah. way. You do not mess with the Incredible Hulk. I am a god, you foul <laughs> creature. And I will not be bullied by that. <laughs> <laughs> God. <laughs> that I scene never it. gets old. What um, if all you had ever known was hatred and aggression, violence and pain? This life is reality for YouTube Doom's comments. Doom's Doomsday. Yeah. <laughs> Doom's Doomsday. Yeah. <laughs> Thousands of years ago, on an uninhabitable prehistoric planet, which would one day be known as Krypton, Hug a ability level, Bertrand a cactus to engineer the <laughs> ultimate <laughs> life form. Yep, it's this another one of those stories, stories, but with one hell of a twist. See, at this time, Krypton was a harsh wasteland filled with nothing but sharp rocks, poisonous air, and violent predators. Bertrand believed that if he could create something that could live through that, they could survive just about anywhere. To realize this theory, Bertrand acquired an infant from somewhere, and through a rapidly accelerated evolution process, attempted to transform him into his dream creation. <laughs> oh, don't try to dance around it, Wiz! Bertrand put that little sucker into a baby cannon, blasted him into the wild to get murdered by any number of things, sucked up what was left of him with a vacuum cleaner, and just cloned a new one out of the mess to do it all over again. Wow. Well, yeah. Wow. The idea being each new clone would be stronger than the one right, before, that's what I said. thus covering millions of years of evolution in just a few decades. That doesn't sound like science. No, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't. So after 30 straight years of baby murder, one of the clones <coughs> finally survived the test. Amazed by his own success, Bertrand named this baby the ultimate. The ultimate baby. But to the rest of the universe, <laughs> he was their doomsday. See, Wiz, reloading as it is, patenting my baby cannon 
was a good idea. Oh. Uh, oh. As successful as Bertrand's experiment was, it was anything but a good idea. Turns out, while Doomsday usually appears to be a mindless beast, he remembered every single time Bertrand had him killed. As a result, uh, Doomsday had been unintentionally uh, programmed at a genetic level to hate everything that lives. Bummer. Needless wow. to say, Bertrand was pretty screwed. Because even with 30 live. years of development, Bertrand had never quite figured out what to do if his experiment actually worked. Because Bertrand is the worst. I mean, he did do what he set out to do. He made an 8 foot 10 monster that doesn't need to eat, breathe, or have internal organs to live. It just kills and kills and oh. kills some more. Wow. Doomsday possesses enormous strength, incredible durability, and poisonous spikes which can extend. But he due to Bertrand's experiments, factor. Doomsday's greatest power of all is his ability to adapt to his opponent's power. He will revive After immune to the cause revenge, of death. Doomsday stowed away on a supply ship and ravaged dozens of planets until he finally found himself on Earth. On that day, Doomsday did the unthinkable. On that day, Doomsday killed Superman. Well, kind of. He actually put him into a super sleep. After several days, he kind of woke up more powerful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We all know who. <sighs> At least Jesus Duke Christ. took Doomsday down with him. Or maybe not. Turns out, whenever Doomsday dies, he just comes back to life, forever immune to whatever killed him in the first place. Uh. Uh, 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 uh. Can't be me the same way twice. He's been punched to death by Superman. Blasted apart by the Radiance energy, brutally ripped in half, incinerated by Imperiax, and just curb stomped by a Kryptonian horde. Practically the curb stomped by point, a Kryptonian horde. Dark side, tanking his Omega beams and beating him to near death. He single-handedly defeated most of the Justice League and took on an energy attack that wiped out a fifth of a planet. He's punched through the Phantom Zone, battled super beings called Gogs for a century, and even broken Wonder Woman's arms. Arms strong enough to help pull the Earth. And during oh his God. rematch with the Man of Steel, after witnessing Doomsday survive an explosion equivalent to one million nukes, Superman realized that the only way to stop him was to send him to the end of time. And his most powerful, Doomsday's mere presence can boil the ocean and disintegrate buildings. A casual stroll across Africa made wildebeest an endangered species, just by uh, walking uh, around. But what he's got in strength, he really lacks in brains. Not that he's dumb, he just literally lacks a brain. More often than not, Doomsday is little more than a one-track mind-killing machine. This makes his intentions predictable, and a clever opponent could use this to, say, lead him into a trap. And should that foe come up with a new way to hurt Doomsday, he could be well, killed. Well, I mean, Still, Hulk isn't any smarter. That's pretty goddamn hard to do. So. Oh. 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 Okay. All right, the While I don't want to say it, this debate, I feel like Doomsday can win. First, I'm still gonna go for the Hulk. I, I, I mean, so I, don't get me wrong. Here, intelligence isn't really a factor that As matters in either of one of them. Shulk and Doomsday both Colorado possess incredible strength and a healing factor, face. but Doomsday does have that poison spike attack, which is kind of interesting. But then again, Doomsday will revive himself. Doomsday can't die. They even couldn't kill him in his actual comics. They had to banish him to the end of time itself. So that kind of specifies that Doomsday himself cannot die. So I just I feel like even if he does die in battle, he'll come back and be immune to like, I don't know, Hulk punches or some shit or be immune to the thunderclap. Yeah. Just pay three dollars for shipping. The most logical answer is Doomsday. So. Free bottle of post shave bomb, okay. which soothes so you got the skin That's after fun. shaving and helps reduce okay, you you could turn Just enter the code death battle at checkout. So head on over to harrys.com by clicking the link in the description below and get your Oh, yes, I'm sure I'll get myself some bomb. Harry's. <laughs> yes, <laughs> we're just talking over right their head. Now, it's time for a death battle. Alrighty, there we go. All right, oh boy. Oh, those are interesting silhouettes. <laughs> but they didn't take time to color them. Oh, they look like silhouettes. Oh, oh, it's his. Yeah, it's his injustice model. Oh yeah. Oh god. Oh. Oh. Ah, an Avengers pod. Oh. 
Oh, that's his ultimate bar versus Cop Cop bottle. Hulk smash ugly Geico. Ugly Geico? Alright. Whoa. Oh, Jesus. All these civilians. <laughs> oh. God. Oh, he's hitting with the spikes on his shoulders. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, 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 oh! Right through the pipes! Oh, shit! Dude! Oh! Mortality, yeah, this truly really felt like a fight between an unstoppable force and an immovable object. Hulk may have had the advantage in raw strength, at least at his full potential, but Doomsday could certainly hold his ground. His victories against the likes of Superman and Darkseid prove he can take a hit from someone strong enough to break planets. And by experience, Doomsday had the speed advantage. He regularly fights foes with light speed capabilities, while that kind of speed is an extreme rarity in the Marvel Universe. In the fact, the only foe that fast who Hulk's ever seemed to keep pace with in a one-on-one -on -one match was Sentry, and that was when he was at his most powerful stage, Worldbreaker Hulk. So overall, Hulk had strength and Doomsday had speed, but neither completely outclassed the other. At first glance, this one looked like it could go either way. Which means the devil's in the very tiny details. So why couldn't the Hulk's infinite strength just keep rising and eventually overwhelm Doomsday? Well, even assuming Hulk's strength was infinite, his healing factor was not. Don't get me wrong, it can only be overtaxed by hits from absurdly powerful beings such as Zeus or Sentry, whom Doomsday certainly compares. Naturally, Doomsday's crazy strength and speed started wearing that healing factor down. Here's where it gets a bit tricky. 
The Hulk may look like a giant green monster, but he's still technically human, and his power directly correlates with his anger. A human being's anger stems from an increase in hormones and adrenaline in the body. However, the brain can only produce these chemicals at such a rate for a limited time, eventually giving up and turning apathetic. Therefore, Hulk's limitless power could never have existed without his healing factor. It's the key. It allowed his body to continue producing hormones and adrenaline far beyond the norm, theoretically an endless supply, thus increasing his superhuman power to an immeasurable degree. So Doomsday overtaxing his healing factor meant the Hulk could no longer maintain his increasing rage and Hulk form. And if you're still skeptical, that's why there's a bunch of times in comics when a huge impact forced the Hulk to turn back into Bruce Banner, including yeah, that battle between Worldbreaker Hulk and Sentry. With his healing power beaten down, he literally couldn't keep himself angry enough to stay in Hulk mode. I love science, but there's still one more thing. Thanks to his battles with Superman and other Kryptonians, Doomsday has evolved to a point where it's basically impossible to kill him with brute force alone. So Hulk couldn't have killed him by just getting angry enough to punch harder than Doomsday ever felt. Precisely. Here's the proof. Superman and Doomsday eventually had a rematch, in which Superman was much more powerful than their first battle. As we've discussed before, Superman's power is also potentially limitless by way of continually absorbing solar energy. And at this point in his story, he'd begun to discover that. But try as he might, despite his increased power, Supes couldn't kill Doomsday with blunt force a second time. Ultimately, Doomsday's immunity to being ripped, impaled, incinerated, blasted with energy, like being beaten by blunt force from both focused and multiple sources, means Hulk just didn't have the options available to take Doomsday out before his healing factor was overtaxed. Sure On this day, hard. Hulk met his doom. <laughs> sure. The winner is Doomsday. Alright. Well, yeah, I, I think that was a bit once. Next time on mm -hmm. Death Battle. Alright, what do we got? I have no idea what this is. Hey guys, I'm Ben. I play Wiz. This is Chatty Plays Boomstick. Cool, and next guy. up, we've got Zora <laughs> yeah, from One is. Piece. Stick to our Twitter. Oh, One Piece. Who he's gonna be oh, okay. I, watch I don't watch screen. One Piece. First so. members can now download the Xbox One and Apple TV apps. So. It's great. But Sorry. it's super important. I don't, I don't really we just launched like a brand new video game. It's Super Rad Ray Gun. Oh, Link in the description. Uh, Click it. Maybe Check someone it from Naruto or something. Naruto hey, or, or, or the Bleach. Uh, Naruto, name? Bleach, Fairy Tale. I don't know. Yeah. I, I know. I know Naruto and Fairy Tale. I don't know Bleach or One Piece, but I don't know. Guess that could be a cool fight. But anyways, that was pretty fucking awesome. I haven't seen Death Battle that good in a long time. That was really, really good. And they did their homework. They did a lot of yeah. research with that one. Because their, their ending explanation, they took a lot more time to explain than normal. But that was so good. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to leave a comment of what else to track to in the future. And I will see you guys next time. Laters. Later.